Hey guys, it's Q&A here with another video. It's the middle of the night and I can't sleep, so I guess I wanted to talk to you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I have so much going on in my mind that I just want to do a video. I know you can't see me right now, but of course I'm laying in bed. So, I just wanted to let you know that recently I had just... Um, gotten a text message from my ex-boyfriend and he just talking to me about how he missed me and but I feel like when you deal with somebody that you've dealt with for so many years and nothing's changed it kind of like it kind of puts like a like a some type of wrench in your plans like you have so many things you want to do in 2020 and then someone comes along and wants to like oh i'm not gonna distract you from this oh i'm not gonna distract you from that yes i do miss the conversation but it's like why do you why do you want to call me but then i end up having to call him and why am i entertaining it you know you left me for somebody else you still deal with that person on a regular basis leave me alone you know, I mean, I deserve a good guy. I mean, someone that will take me, not take me for granted. And it sucks that I keep getting the same, same thing, different day. You know, I deserve a good guy. I've never, ever cheated on anybody before. Don't cheat. That's not my thing. I don't believe in that, but. You know, I as you get older, you can only tolerate but so much. And I can't tolerate that, you know. I mean, I could be your friend, but I don't know how much for my friendship I could give you. Because I turned off that button that I once had for love, you know. It's like when you've been hurt so many times in your life. Do you, you want someone to make you feel like you want make someone to, you want someone to make you feel good about yourself and you know feel beautiful and you know you don't want to hear from your friends and you know your friends want to make you feel better but it's just realizing that you have to have a stronger set of mind you have to have a stronger skin especially for the sensitive chicks out there you know you can't wear your feelings on your sleeve. You have to protect your heart at all times. Because us as women know how it feels. And men, some men out there know how it feels. Where you're hard on your sleeve because you love so hard. And then when you get that rejection. Or you get that feeling of being cheated on. Or you get that feeling of, oh my goodness, this person did this to me. You know? You feel like crap. You know? You feel like the world's ending. You know? And the sad part is, they still come back to disturb you from what you're doing. Disturb you from the accomplishments that you have set for yourself. The goals that you have made up for your mind. And the sad part is, is that you try the best you can to not think about that person, not even entertain it. And they still find a way back in your life. If they run into you, they text you, call you, whatever. And then you find it in yourself to like dig a little deeper to see really does he really care about me or is it more like I want my what's my intentions of like bothering me or whatever what are your intentions what do you want from me you know at one point in my life when I was dealing with this person I thought I was gonna marry him I was gonna have kids with him I was gonna have a little dog I was gonna have pick, pick a fence I was gonna have all these things but I don't know I really don't get it. Why come in my life if you don't really care? You know, like, you got what you wanted. You got what you wanted, you know? It may not be money, but you took my heart and you just, like, dismembered it in so many pieces that you that when I got my heart back, I couldn't even, I couldn't even recognize it. And that's what usually what happens to us girls and females and males. We are taking them we're how do you say it like they don't care about our feelings at all they don't care if they cared so much about our 
feelings. Why are they hurting us? Because why do hurt people hurt other hurt people? Or they just don't care to hurt other people that are hurt? You know, what did we do to you? That you got to mess with our heart. Take it apart. Stomp on it. Cut it in little pieces. And then give it back to us. And we're supposed to like mend it. Sew it back together. Velcro it. Staple it back together. And try to live a good, better life. And try to let yourself meet new people. But you can't. Because you're so stuck on what you had before. I mean, just... It just sucks because I miss this person so much, but my mind and my heart can't attach to him at all. Like, it's like, I just, I I just, he's like a mystery to me. And when you have that mystery love that, like, you could see in those books with Fabio and, you know, you, you want him to just, like, pick you up and kiss you and make you feel beautiful and, and talk sweet nothings in your ear not like that kind of mystery love it's like it's like a like a distant type of love maybe that's what i mean i have love for you but i'm not in love with you anymore you played me so long you took me for granted you don't care about my feelings you just stomped on it and didn't care like you did the most for what like who does that deserve the things I deserve is a good list a guy that listens a guy that likes to cook a guy that likes to travel a guy that's just all around open minded a guy that's looking for love a guy that doesn't mind the challenge of helping a female get to where she wants to be just like in an emotional manner like, you know, teaching her about romance and making her feel important and making her feel loved and someone that's going to, like, talk to her and, and keep up the conversation even after you meet the person and someone that you could just interact with, someone that you can feel their embrace, someone that just makes you grow as a person, someone that just loves you, someone that just don't talks about you all the time someone that doesn't drink a lot someone that doesn't smoke someone that just takes care of themselves like I deserve those things I don't deserve I'm not saying I should have a cookie cutter Kai but darn I'm gonna last for much <laughs> um, but as I ran a little bit more <laughs> This is not a video to see me. This is a video to hear me. So for all the people that want to see my face at one something in the morning, I guess you got to hear my voice for today. I want to put out more videos. But there's always a monkey wrench in my, in my plans. So this video is an audio. The pictures of me. And what I deserve and what I what I am going to accomplish this year. I have so many things to accomplish. I want to go back to school, but there's an issue with the that. Then I want to get a place. Then there's an issue with that. So it's like a lot of things are gonna work out. I just gotta make it work. And I just gotta do what I gotta do. With those things, I have no idea. I'm just gonna go with the seat of my pants. Um Honestly, people just guard your heart best you can. And the hardest part is, how do you know when that person does come in your direction? If he really means what he says, he's going to do what he says he's going to do. And mean it. And not take you for a ride, an emotional roller coaster ride that you can't get off of. And comment, leave a comment, like, subscribe, more videos are coming.
more videos like this might come because I feel like I'm an audio type person. So, have a good night. See you in the morning. Bye.